Mistakes young businesses make every day in Africa. What are these mistakes? This is uh, Ruben Kimani. I'm the CEO of Username Investment Limited. Please subscribe to our channel, like our Facebook, and follow us on Instagram. I'll share three common mistakes. Number one, amorphousness. This is what we call kienyeji in our country. Most of our young businesses, they operate in a kienyeji fashion. You don't keep records. You don't know who is working for you. You don't have uh, uh, rules and guidelines. They are called processes in big companies. Just rules to say. Your employee reports at 8, leaves at 5. Uh, if you take, uh, if someone takes something on credit, do you keep good? Do you have that record? Do you know whether you need to take a loan or you don't? We operate in a Kenyaji fashion. And this is one of the biggest challenges for our small businesses. Even some medium-sized businesses uh, formalize things, ensure you keep records. I think that's the beginning of things. You have rules for your small business. Number two, lack of innovation. When I say lack of innovation, look like a big word. You go back to uh, the story that is told by everyone about Kodak. Kodak was in the businesses of selling film. But they stayed like that until we had digital cameras. Then we have the emergence of smartphones, big ones. Smartphones that can do better. They have better cameras than some Kodak camera. That's how they went out of business. It is like fashion. It keeps changing. You have, for those who operate uh, stalls, fashion uh, shops, you have to keep checking what people are wearing so that you innovate and move there. Try things. Even if they don't look like they are making sense at the moment, you try them. If they work, it's okay. If they don't, you move back. The last thing I would like to share is lack of structures. You need a structure in the business. You need to know who is uh, doing what, who is in charge of your money, who is running the, the business, and uh, stuff like that. And also that reflects even on your customer service. You must think on how to retain your customer. I met someone in a matatu business and of course there was a disagreement with a customer in a stage. They were telling me matatus do not have a customer. When they were saying matatu was in a customer. If this guy refuses to board, another one will come. So they talked so badly to that customer. That, that is a bad thing because a short term, but in the long term, you have to pay for it. So customer service is one of the third problem, uh, uh, including lack of structure that our small businesses make. Of course, there are many others and um, something like uh, failing to register with government. Most Kenyans and small businesses are afraid of the taxman, paying taxes, another NEMA, all those government agencies. But for any serious person who want to grow their businesses, register because you can be able to move forward much faster, advertise heavily, and grow without having to hide. So there are so many thousands of our small businesses, they don't want to come out. So they inhibit their growth because they are afraid of paying taxes, uh, county fees, and many other things. Those are some of the things I have so many, but I'll stop there. And I hope you can learn from them and do something about it. I wish you success in your small business. May it, if it's a small business, may it grow to a medium size. If it's a medium size, may it grow to a corporate. Let's work this thing together. Embrace new ideas. Comment there and tell us what other mistakes small businesses make in Africa every day. Mm -hmm.